In the previous video, we set up OpenVPN server and then we successfully established the VPN connection from local virtual machine to VPN server. In this video, we are going to make this virtual machine as a member of domain which domain server is located in the AWS environment. To do this, we are going to establish the VPN connection from host machine instead of virtual machine. Something like this. In this way, this virtual machine has always VPN connection, something like before logging to the machine and while restarting this machine. So we can easily make this virtual machine as a member of the domain which located in AWS over the VPN connection. So in this video, I will show you how it works. Let's get to it. Okay, so let's establish the VPN connection from host machine. I'm going to open the open VPN page. So this is a self-signed certificate. We just accept the this risk. Right, so let's log into the system and type in a six digit code. Right, so this time I already installed the VPN client, but I don't have the configuration this time. So in this case, just select this link, click on this, and then what it does is basically download the profile. So let's click on it and then open this. So this file is automatically imported into the OpenVPN client. So let's click OK. First thing is save the password. Right. And then click connect. So asking the multi factor authentication, let's type the six digit code again. Okay, so now we successfully established the VPN connection. That's good. Okay, so now we established the VPN connection from host machine. So let's open up the virtual machine and then make this machine as a member of domain. So this is my virtual machine. And the first thing first, we'll open the property of this PC. All right. So click advanced setting and then click computer name and then click change button here. So I already set up the PC name, which is 209win11en. All right, so let's update the name of machine in the network diagram. So this PC name will be 209win11en, veggie.cloud. This is the domain name, right? So domain name is veggie.cloud. So let's type in the domain name here. And then click OK. Right now we got the prompt to type in the domain admin credential. Right, and then click OK. All right, this time we successfully join this machine as a member of the domain. Right, and click OK to close. And then close all the window. And then click OK. And then click close. Now we need to restart this machine. So let's do that. All right, so let's log into the system. This time I type in the domain username. Okay, so now we successfully log in to this machine. So let's check the status. Right? So we can see the FQDN of this machine, which is a part of the domain now, it's a veggie.cloud, and the username is domain2, and you can see the domain information here. So we successfully become a member of the domain. So I'm going to disconnect the VPN connection from the host machine, So, which is I disconnect this one. And then instead of that, I I'm going to establish the VPN connection from this virtual machine. Right. So to do this, 
we are going to open the VPN client, right, and establish a connection. Right? So now we establish the VPN connection. We can see the IP address and all the configuration here. So we successfully established the VPN connection from this virtual machine. Now we can remote access to any of the machine in the VPC cloud. This means we no longer need this machine. So I prefer to remove that because I don't want to open the RDP connection port to the internet. So I'm going to remove this machine. This make it clean and we can save cost. So let's clean up from the AWS console. Okay, so we are going to delete this machine. Okay. All right, so now we deleted the EC2 instance just for the remote access to the private EC2 instance. This is because this virtual machine can do the same things over the VPN connection. All right, so now we have a more secure and clean environment.